Hi guys, coming on for a, with a project for Bead Park. I received some moulds off of them and they're only little, um, they've come out little things, you know, um, sort of like this big. I've painted some of them, some black paint. Um, the largest I've got is some little angels. I've got some shoes, I've got flowers. Um, so I needed to do something combined with them as they're not very big some of them so something that I could actually do I'm trying to do some friend mail at the moment so I thought to myself right so combine that make something for friend mail um, because these are too small these objects to put on um, a large canvas and so I remember buying some of these note um, pads, they're new ones. So I bought a couple of these, they're the jotty, jotter pads, they're A6 size. They've got this type of cover on them. So I thought, why don't I do a cover and then I can um, dress it up, put some waxes on and you know try and make a nice background for them so I've got two of the pads so I thought I'll use some of the flowers with some of the shoes and an angel with some of the flowers on the front as well as we're coming up to sort of Valentine's sort of day and that so what I've done is I've cut out two A6 size well they're just under A6 size pieces of painty paper that I've done that have got like a pattern in them so they're for the front and then going to glue these onto here and then I'm going to wax up these little embellishments because now they've been painted and we're going to put glue them onto there and we're going to make some really pretty notepads so hopefully it comes out all right because I haven't done this as you can see I've only cut the papers and everything else so we'll see how it comes out it should be fine hopefully so we'll do the first one which I wanted to do the yellow one with the shoes or should I do the other no the pink one would be nice with the angel I think so we want to choose how we want it to go on first. So So if we just stick that over there for a second. Now I need my baby wipes. I need to put this out of the way so I don't get all the wax all over it. Baby wipe. Just wet my fingers down a bit. And um, we're gonna go in with some colors by hand. It
Right, okay, let's just wipe this off. That's a bit like my under the undertones of my nail polish, the glitter in that colour. Right, so we've glittered these ones up. We we'll need to leave them to dry for a little bit. Um, and then I can pick them up and glue them down. So what I'm going to do with this is just put that over there. And then I'm, for now, while I'm still filming this, we've got this piece of card. And we're going to bring in the angel. So I want to slightly not correct you know correctly so, like centered but onto the side <laughs> Hi guys, we're back again. Right, so I've just unscrewed the red. Um, I'll do one of these flowers red. So, I'm going to start on this cover now. And I'm just going to go over this one.
these off in the parts where they're supposed to be. Like that, so I know where they go. I'm going to grab one of these books and hopefully this will fit on. I haven't even checked it. Yep, yeah, that will. So I'm going to glue that on now. Use my glue and hopefully get right to the corners. Right. It's a little touch off of it, but you can't see any writing or anything. It's absolutely fine like that. So we've got that on there, and then I want to put the shapes on. Till they dry now um on that one i wanted this oh it's too late it's dry doesn't it no it hasn't i wanted this like that just off not sort of that's it like that yeah right so i've got to wait for these to dry i don't care about these glue dogs showing out because this should go um, see through transparent right now bring this one back and then we'll stick this down so
love that shoe. Absolutely love that. The detail on that shoe there. Love it. So we've got both the books drying at the moment and then I'll think what else to do on them. I'll show you and hold them up. There. Oh that's gorgeous. Look at that angel and the detail. Look. Look, the shoe. That silver one, isn't it gorgeous? Look. So we've got those, so I'll be back when these are dry out a bit. Okay guys, I've finished up now. I've finished up and I've just decorated the front. So I had lots of little embellishment parts. And I had some of the little, what are they called? The little metal pendants they're called. Well, I've stuck some of them on. I've put on this one, Follow Your Heart. I wanted this more like Valentine's Day sort of theme. I know it's got an angel on it, but I thought this would be nice for sort of Valentine's. And this is just like um, funky shoe design and all that. And that says, Live Your Dreams. Live Your Dream, because we all like our shoes, don't we? So they're the finished items I've done. I've just stuck a little bit of lace over the top and on the second. I've just put a bit of lace on the top of them. Um, the lace is just there for the end of the paper really and that's all. I've gone round the edges with some ink gold in the gold colour. Um, they're all lovely and metallic. They are A6. You're in. You're over here, aren't you? That's it. You're A. Um, they're A6 um, notepads, um, and they're quite thick. They're not that heavy with the um, air drying clay pieces on, but I thought they were really pretty, you know. And once someone's used the notepad as a notepad, they can actually cut off with a knife the um, top piece and keep it even, you know, because it's so pretty on the front. But yeah, I've managed to use a lot of my little bits and pieces of um, gems to go on there. I, I'm loving all them shoes and I love the angel. I'm gonna leave them at the end of this video. I think they're really lovely the way they've come out. Ooh, the boots and a little boot on there and that. So yeah, thank you to Bead Park again. And um, what I'll do is I'll use the ribbon that I had got from them, the silver and the gold ribbon. When I wrap these in some tissue paper, I'm going to do the bows with the ribbons. So they'll be nice as um, gifts and um, send them off for friend mail. So these are dry now anyway. We've just got to allow that glue to dry out a little touch more. I'm going to go and take some pictures now and leave them at the end. So thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you like this project and um, I'll catch you in my next video. Bye for now. Bye.